In other news, courtesy of Pitchfork, The Weeknd is replacing Kanye because Kanye decided out of the blue to drop out of Coachella 2022, like a couple of weeks, you know, out of the festival happening. Is it a couple of weeks or maybe two weeks or maybe a week and a half? I don't know. Yeah, April 17th to 24th. So a couple of weeks out, Kanye West decides to completely drop out of the festival. No one knows why. Um, it's funny or interesting because it felt like this was a f appearance that Kanye was really looking forward to. You know, his Coachella performances are always really eye capturing. Um, he was posting, if I remember, illustrations or sketches of set designs and whatnot. And you would have assumed, considering the year he's had, um, that he was going to go out with a bit of a bang. And there was obviously rumours that he was going to bring out Travis, Travis Scott, during his performance too. Because obviously, you know, Kanye is very much anti cancel culture and he wanted to stand up for his friend or his brother-in-law. Um, in terms, is it brother-in-law? I don't know, whatever you call him, right friend, when it comes to the cancellations that was happening with Travis Scott with the whole um, Asher War tragedy. And I don't know, it just seemed like a big deal to him. So it's very surprising to see him drop out, but also not surprising because it's Kanye. Then Coachella have to go and kind of, you know, scan, scan the world and see who can replace or who's going to be an adequate replacement for Kanye. And at the time I felt like, I, thought, I forgot, who did I say? I think I mentioned, who did I mention? <laughs> I think I mentioned something like Nicki Minaj or something, I think at the time. But maybe she doesn't have enough, you know, new material out at the moment to make that worthwhile. It's a bit too short notice too for her. Maybe she didn't want to leave her kid. I don't know, whatever. Um, but then when they got announced that it was the weekend of Swedish House Mafia, that made a lot more sense. Um, especially when you consider the weekend is gearing up for a massive world tour, like it's crazy amount of dates he's doing. To each house Matthew, of course, you know, they're always playing. They've produced a couple of tracks, I think, on a new album, I'm pretty sure. A couple of that, I'm surprised they did produce because it didn't really sound Swedish House Mafia-ish. It wasn't very EDM-ish, whatever, but I would assume they probably got bangers and tracks that I have no idea of that they've done for days that's going to be really entertaining as a kind of show that they put on because I'm sure that's going to be a key part of the actual performance. So it's just going to be the weekend performing. It'll be them kind of performing on tandem. And if, again, it's just a perfect replacement i feel like um especially considering how good you know that uh, flipping dawn fm album is like it's gonna be a banger it's definitely gonna be a banger i'm really really looking forward to watching the stream on youtube like the rest of us are. i really am looking forward to i'm not gonna lie to you but then the funny story off the back of that <coughs> is this plant story that it feels like Coachella put out to kind of put pressure on The weekend. It says as follows. This is courtesy of page six. The weekend demands Kanye West 8.5 million Coachella paycheck friends a pull out. To me, this feels like Coachella have purposely put this out there in an effort to kind of back The weekend into a corner so that he accepts whatever offer they've given him. But I also don't understand why they don't just pay up. Kanye dropped out with two weeks notice. Maybe they've served him with a penalty fee. Who knows? He doesn't care. He'll pay it off. He's a billionaire. It doesn't matter. But he dropped out at two weeks' notice. It's pretty difficult to get somebody who's ready to perform on that stage, given, you know, the legends and the flipping, you know, iconic performances that have come before them um, and perform to a level required. And to also make it worthwhile for the guests that have appearing there or for the customers, blah, blah, blah. So you find one in the weekend, ready-made, who's gearing up already for a world tour. He's probably got a set already already done, routine set out, set this already fine-tuned. He's ready to go. He's plug and play, basically. That's a perfect thing. If anything, he should be getting a bit more than that to basically thank him for the fact that he's doing it. But it, they look at their omen and iron over the 8.5 million. It's like, no, nah, that, that's... The, the, that. Basically, you know, no one could maybe... It could be argued that Kanye should maybe make more an appearance feed in the weekend. Fair enough. But given the circumstances, part of the 8.5 million is going to be the late fee, right? The fact that you made me last minute, you have to pay this. Uh, it just is what it is. Um, they continue. But this could maybe just to show you how slimy the music industry is, isn't it? Where they're just putting out this flipping news in the effort to kind of get him to... Um, to acquiesce because everyone's going to be online oh my god it's 8.5 million how could he know if i had that money i would perform for 1 million you know that kind of stuff like crazy anyway it says as follows curse your page six the drama coachella continues to play out 
Coachella organizers leisurely tried to stiff the weekend after he stepped in to replace the Kanye West at Sunday's headliner at the festival. We're told the singer threatened to pull out if he wasn't paid the same money as West, who was set to rake in 8 million plus 500 production fee. Page Six has exclusively revealed that the weekend was the front runner to replace All the Lights rapper who bailed on the gig less than two weeks before the show. Um, Coachella organizers announced early Wednesday that the weekend 32 and house music supergroup Suja Taft Mafia will be taking over rapper slot on April 17th, April 24th. Bruv, to get 8.5 million for two dates and a production fee. So the, that fee is, oh, yeah, boss. But a music source told us that the deal wasn't yet done for the Blinding Light singer. The source said the weekend came in at short notice to take Kanye's spot, but Phil Antwitz, who owns the Coachella Festival through AAG, wanted to hold on to Kanye's money and pay the weekend far less than just a few million. Oh my god, so he went to pay him what, like two million? Come on, man. Piss take. The festival would pocket the rest. Um, cause like, you know what this makes me think? Pocket the rest, cool. Uh, that might be the reason but it also makes me think that maybe they haven't sold as many tickets as they're letting out or they're letting on or maybe it costs way more to produce coachella and they may be in the red and that that extra few mil is going to allow them to basically you know uh break even or something because it doesn't make any sense like why would you somebody of the caliber of the weekend you should be paying him exactly what kanye was going to get paid merely for the inconvenience or merely because he's, you know, he's basically making it inconvenient for you. Or alleviating you of the inconvenience, um, let's say. Um, the ploy led to a fraught negotiations this week with the weekend's management and Auschwitz company Golden Voice, which produced the festival. The source continued. Even after Coachella announced a new lineup on Wednesday, a deal wasn't in place for the weekend, who threatened to pull out at an hour's notice if he didn't get the same deal as Kanye. Finally, on Wednesday, faced with the prospect of um, second headliner pulling out, the Coachella Auschwitz company caved and agreed to pay the weekend the same money. Good. While reps of Auschwitz didn't comment, a second insider said the billionaire AEG mogul wasn't personally handling negotiations, which were handed by an employee. Of course, he's going to, you know, throw the employee under the bus. Um, a rep for Weekend didn't record and turn multiple calls for comment and West rep didn't respond. Earlier this week, Page Six exclusively reported that West bailed on the gig less than two weeks before showtime because he wants to get help after publicly dragging the former wife, which wasn't true because I guess Jason Lee came out and said it's not true, um, which led to a 24-hour Instagram suspension, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, crazy, isn't it, right? Like, imagine, imagine the gall on somebody to, you know, to try and book you lastminute.com and then say, hey, we're not going to pay you the same money as a previous person. But I guess this happens a lot in freelance work too, right? People like last minute fill in to do a job, to spec something out. They then don't pay you or they pay you late or they try and pay you less what they paid the other person, which is, I think is why in life in general, I wish we're not going to be in that position ever. I think as a society, just because we're just not geared that way. But I, I really do wish we were more open with how much we get paid in jobs and stuff with our friends and our colleagues and our peers we we're more open about you know what this what this role pays on a marketing manager seo person creative director project manager whatever it may be right especially in different sort of it may be sectors i think it'd be really important because what it will allow you to do when it comes to negotiating your contract especially you go you know signed to you know you go you go get a new job somewhere else it allows you to be in a position where you don't need to undercut yourself and usually when it comes to money that realization honestly I, I think most people have had it that realization when you figure out somebody that's maybe working the same role as you or maybe doing less than you is earning triple what you're earning it can hurt you so much like really really hurt you so if you're able to kind of get an understanding of what the climate is and what everyone's on it can allow you to negotiate for higher pay or it can allow you to know what to basically demand when you walk in the door in the first place. Um, but yeah, this is real, real cunty shit, man. So yeah, big up the weekend for holding out and getting his bag. And hopefully that performance goes off without a hitch. I cannot wait. I cannot wait.